At the present, there are a lot of emerging new technologies of warfare, uh, such as cyber warfare, and that is very new. Uh, there's never been anything like that before in history. When people can, well, there's been sneak attacks before, but the idea that you can attack from a great distance and not leave a trace as to who you are, that's one thing that's very new. But for me, the most uh, important new thing is the idea of allocating the decision to kill to a machine. And that, I think, is stepping over a fundamental moral line that I don't want to see crossed. Um, but I have, I have great uh, problems with the technology for doing this as well. So it's not just a moral line. I can't see a machine being able to discriminate between a civilian and a combatant. In fact, at the moment, it's very difficult for a machine to distinguish between a tank and a truck near a forest. Um, what you can do is you can distinguish a tank, you can tell it's a tank if it's in good day and it's in the desert. Um, so that's the kind of target recognition we have at the moment. And the idea of a machine being able to decide to kill someone based on really poor target recognition is awful. But also the idea of precaution. I mean, this, this new technology doesn't allow for deciding what is the legitimacy of a target. If you let it go and have a free reign for weeks on end, which is one of the ideas, then how does it ever decide the legitimacy of the target? But perhaps worst of all is the fundamental thing about being able to make proportionality decisions. So the idea that you, a machine could assess what is a military advantage and what is the worth of particular people with regards to a military advantage. It might be able to work out the best weapon to use to minimise collateral damage, but it wouldn't be able to decide whether a strike was worthwhile or not in the first place.